back to Trading Card Cave with Eli. Um, before we start anything, um, we have some big news. We got some more cards in the mail. Yeah. And Rob bought some cards. We um, have an actual card room now, so that's... Sort of. That, mm, sort of. Oh, I think that's really cool. Um, I just wanted to share that. And we're still trying to hit 100 subscribers. And me, and when we do, we're only five subscribers away. Thank you for so much. We love you all, and just thank you for carrying us here. And thank you. That's all I wanted to say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado. So these are, most of these are all vintage. There's a few that aren't vintage. Got these for pretty cheap. Uh, first one, we got a Ferguson Jenkins top. I can't remember what year this is. 81, 81 tops. Pretty good condition. Some of these cards are in bad condition. Some of them aren't really good. We got a um, 1984 Fleer Johnny Bench. Probably one of the last last years he played. I can't remember. Another Hall of Famer. This one's in pretty bad shape, but I didn't buy it for this one. 1975 tops of Dave Winfield. Pretty cool card, I'll take it. Next one, my favorite player of all time. Can anybody guess? Nolan Ryan. Took like that one. It's in pretty good shape. There's a small crease below the P, but whatever. I've already got that card. I think that's 73 or four. No, I'm way off, 79, 1979. Next one is a 1978 Burt Blylevin. Pretty good shape. Corners are pretty nice. And then we got a 1984 Jim Palmer. That one's pretty nice too. Corners look pretty good. Center's pretty, pretty nice, not quite perfectly. This card's in um, okay shape. 1971 Topps Phil Necro. Corners are a little rough. Other than that, the card is, is pretty decent. I'll take it. And the edges? Yeah, the edges are not the greatest, but that's okay. Centering's I, nice. I love it. Eh, centering's off. Oh yeah, on that yeah. side. Next card we have 1980 Topps. Willie McCovey. I think this is the last year that he played too. Pretty good card. Centering's off a little bit, but the corners are pretty good. Corners, not eh, perfect, but decent. Here's probably one of the all-time, I'd say top 20 managers in baseball ever. 1986 tops, or 85 tops, Tommy Lasorda. Here we go, we got a 19, I think it's 1968, uh, yep, 1968 Rod Carew, All-Star. Pull it that way over. Pretty good card, centering's decent. I'll take it. Next we got a 1982 Tops, Bruce Sutter. Centering's pretty good on that too. Uh, next, 1969 Tops, 1970, Hoyt Wilhelm, card's in pretty bad shape. The surface, Scra it's, yeah, a, it's scratched. The surface is in pretty bad shape. Here's somebody that everybody should know. He's not a Hall of Famer, but definitely a well-known on TV. This is a 1966 Tim McCarver. He was a decent hitter. He hit for like 280 for his career. Here's the card I really wanted, but it's not centered well. Um, 1964 tops, got Sandy Koufax on it. It's my first Sandy Koufax card. Edges are pretty, top edge and corners are pretty rough, but I don't care. And the bottom. Oh well, yeah, it's not centered. You can see how close it is to the bottom. Yeah. Here's a all time great. 1959 tops, I think. Um, 1954, excuse me. 
Eddie Matthews, another Milwaukee Brave. Braves are my favorite team, but um, love this card. It's not in the greatest shape. Coloring's a little off, but I like it. Here's a pretty cool thing that I got, a little Hank Aaron stamp. It'd still be used, maybe. You have to put a couple extra stamps on there, though. Uh, here's another one of my favorite cards out of the bunch. 1972 Tops, RBI leaders, Torre, Stargell, and Aaron. Torre led the league that year with 137 ribbies. Card's a little off center, but the corners are sharp. Pretty cool card. Here's a, I don't know if you want to call this my first Mickey Mantle, but he is on the card. 1975 Tops. This is a 25 year anniversary edition. <clears throat> I really wouldn't call it my first Mickey Mantle, but it, it is my first legit, I don't know, vintage card with him on him, on it. And you got uh, Don Newcomb in the bottom. And almost done guys. Next we got a 19, I don't remember, early 70s Mickey Mantle. I mean, excuse me, Willie Mays, the little off on that name. This is, I think this is the last year of this guy too. This is a um, 1981 Fleer, Carl Yastrzemski. I actually saw his um, grandson play baseball this past week. Eli, his grandson plays for the Norfolk Tides. He does? Yeah, he plays. Is it um, TJ something? I don't is remember his first name, but his last name is just like it's written on here. I think he plays outfield. I think he plays outfield. Why didn't you tell me? I did. You just you were more interested in getting autographs, which is perfectly fine. I'm sorry. No, dude, it's perfectly fine. All right, next card. Um, I forgot what. Uh, 1965 again. I got a John, Tommy John rookie. It's in. It's not in great shape. And a Bob Chance rookie. It looks like it got like burnt or something. Like that. No, it's not burnt, but the corners. No, but like the tops and the sides, it looks it's like just, they were like it's burnt. Just dirty and worn. Oh. Right, Except, another. like, we, um, we do have some advice for you. What? If you, like, don't get like a rag and like wash your cards off. Like, like if you're beginners, I can kind of understand that, but. Don't do that. It's just going to mess up the car worse. And that would suck. Mm -hmm. It's going to absorb the water. Main point is don't do that. Alright, two more cards. And last, second to last is uh, 72 Tops. Game 4 World Series Pirates. I think that's... I can't tell who that is on the card, but... I'll look, at, I'll look more closely. And lastly, another Hall of Famer. 19... 73 tops, Willie Stargell. Card's in pretty good shape. All right, so a couple more things we gotta show you and we're done. Um, we got two more TTMs in the mail. I'm gonna let Eli show you the first person that we got. Go ahead, Eli. Okay, so. Show him that one first. Okay, um, I'm really excited about this one. He, um, I'm gonna give you a hint of who he was. The shortest person in NBA. <laughs> Sorry about that. Muggsy Bogues. Really nice. I yeah. love it. Uh, Muggsy Bogues is a is a good um. It's not just some okay. It um for me at least he's a good um. What would you say? Like. He was good for about six, seven years, maybe eight years. No, like, no, no, like a... Point guard? No, like, not a position, like, someone who, like, shows you, like, an Mentor? expression. Mentor? Expression. Like, um, how, like, yeah. how, well, how everyone called them, you're too short to play in, oh. in the NBA, and, like, you can't do that well. Good you fight, know? like, over, overcomer? Yes. Yeah. Like, like, he became a Hall of Famer, which I think I think he won. Cool. No, he's not a Hall of Famer. He's not? I, I don't think he won the dunk championship, but he was in a dunk contest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was. So, yeah. And he, he did. 
I think, think no, I think he did. You think he did? Yeah, because I, I watched him do it, and he did like a spin off the backboard. Well, yeah. here it is. This is not an old kind of card. This is a chrome e card, and it's uh from 2017. Cool. Thread. That's a cool one. Yeah. Pretty good autograph. I like how he's got a nice autograph. So, all right, last TPM we got. Let's see. We'll show you this first. Some of you guys probably already know this. So he signed an index card for us. All right. And he's probably the greatest pinch, pinch hitter to ever play in Major League Baseball. We got Manny Moda. I sent him three cards. Excuse me, two cards and an uh, index card, and he signed them all. So I think it's pretty cool. I got this one where he set the record for most pinch hits all time. Thank you, Mr. Moda. If you guys want to send him uh, some cards, he he does live in Santa Clara, California. So if you find that address, Santa Clara, California, I'm pretty sure he's gonna sign your cards for you. Just be nice, respectful, and um, nice, sweet autograph. Lots of M's, M's and N's. So that's all we got for you today, guys. Uh, Please uh, get your friends to subscribe so we can do that giveaway. All we need is five more subscribers. And, and uh, we'll me and Rob, oh, sorry, 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 um, sorry guys. Um, we were, I was thinking of telling Rob maybe, like, should we do like? We better discuss it offline. Okay, sorry guys. Um, thanks for watching. See ya. Have a good night. See ya.